Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God. How are you guys doing today on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday? How are you guys doing? I pray that everything is going well for you. I pray that you are having a blessed day today. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be whoop, whoop, glad in it. Let us rejoice and be whoop, whoop, glad in it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. For those who first time here, that's my happy sound. If you're first time viewing, welcome. Welcome to all my subscribers as well as the viewers. If you haven't already subscribed, come on and subscribe. Be a part of the kingdom family, the chosen generation family that's growing and that blessings are flowing in this on this channel as never before. So come on and be a part of it. We would love to have you. My name is Nia and on this channel I give you whatever the Holy Spirit has given me, a word of encouragement, a scripture, or a prophetic word, whatever the Holy Spirit gives me for that day is what I come on and give. And I just want to say welcome. I'm so happy, glad to have you here. Let me give you a hug. That's a hug for me. Well, today I pray and I ask the Holy Spirit, what would I, uh, what would he have me speak about? And he began to talk about time. He said to tell my people that timing is everything. Um, and he began to go over the scripture of Ecclesiastics, um, the third chapter, one through eight. And he began to talk about the time. Is it time to live, a time to die, um, a time to give birth, a time to um, plant, and a time to uproot. So when you guys have a chance, read the Ecclesiastics three, one through eight. And it tells you about the different times and different seasons for different things in your life that will happen. And he began to say that even with us, um, our gifts and callings that we have, the things that we um, have asked God to do in our lives or that we have uh, a desire to come to pass, he said we need to make sure that we are moving in the right timing. When he tells us to move, when he tells us to do certain things, he said we need to make sure that we are moving in his correct timing when he's telling us to move. Sometimes I know a lot of times God will speak to us and sometimes we feel as though we can wait a little bit or we, we don't have to move right then, you know, okay, yeah. You know, how you tell your child, you say, go get me, um, I want you to go and, and, and go down the basement and clean up and move that stuff over, that, that, that stuff, those clothes that are on the side, move those clothes over to the other side of the basement. And you know, I know back in the day, my mom was tell us some, something to do and if we hesitated, she would get really, really angry. And she would say, did you hear what I told you to do? I said, move that stuff. Well, that's the same thing with God. God gives us uh, direction. He gives us a command. And he tells us to move whatever. When he tells us to move, whatever he's telling us to do. When he tells us to move, we need to be obedient to be able to move extremely fast. When he's telling us to move, not uh, you know, slow fool and oh, I'll do it uh, next week. I'll do it. You know, if he tells you to give someone something and be a blessing, give that sister three thousand dollars, give that brother five hundred dollars, and he tells you to be a blessing, he's telling you that for a reason because you know what? He has great, great blessings in store for you as you be obedient and move when he's telling you to move. It's something about moving and being in the right timing of the Holy Spirit and not just doing things our own way and just you know uh going through life and thinking that we're doing things right and it's all wrong and then we wonder why well why am i still here why am i still in this same place i've been in this same location for for 20 years i've been in the same uh, situation for 20 years i've been dealing with this for 30 years you mean at some point in your mind you need to really start thinking and meditating and praying and say father what is it that i am doing that is allowing me to be stagnant that is allowing me not to move in the direction that i desire to move what is it that i'm doing where i can do better and you know make sure that we say create i ask god this every single day create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me purge me with his sup and i shall be clean wash me and I shall be whiter than, whiter than snow like the word of God says. So we want to make sure that our heart is pure. We want to make sure that, you know, when he tells us to move, that we're being obedient and that we also want to make sure that there's nothing that's hindering us in our hearts that could um, hold up our blessings. 
because sometimes God tells us to do something and we, we did, you know, God said, do this, do that, whatever. And we did it, we do it. And then here comes offense. Someone says something and next thing you're in a, 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 a argument, you know, next thing you know, uh, you're offended, you know, and see when the enemy knows that you can get offended off of things that are, you know, sometimes a lot of stuff is petty. He'll try to have you be offended about something that somebody said, a way that somebody looked, what have you, what have you. It's something that's very, very petty. And God wants us to come up higher above that so that he can bless us. And we have to make sure that our way is clear with all this little petty stuff, you know, that can hold you back from your blessing. But at the same time, we still want to make sure that we are moving that we are in the move of the Holy Spirit, of the flow of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit is telling us to do this, do that, we want to be able to flow with it. You know, not be thinking about, oh, I don't care for her. Oh, I don't like this person. I don't like that person. Oh, I didn't like the way, you know, you said that. You know, try to always be open and give people the benefit of the doubt. Try not to be so judgmental and always willing to think that somebody's out to get you. Everyone is not out to get you. You know, but at the same time, we do have to be aware um, of wolves and sheep clothing as well. So don't don't get that you know twisted. That that is correct. We do need to be aware of uh, people that are not completely who they say they are. So you know, God is just saying He wants us to make sure that we pay attention to time. You know, time. You, you know, getting you're getting older. Um, people will say to you, "Well, you're getting older. Why are you trying to do this? Why are you trying to do that?" You know, and God is also wanted me to tell you that if you are getting older or if you haven't had a, a, a baby and you wanted a baby, you know, God is able to do anything, anything, okay? It's according to your faith, be it unto you. So don't get weary and well-doing because in due season, as the word of God says, you will reap if you faint not. But make sure that you are listening to the Holy Spirit and that you are moving in the timing of the Holy Spirit when he tells you to move and what he's telling you to do. Because good things come to those who wait. As you wait on the Lord, he said he will renew your strength. You're going to mount up as wings of eagles. You're going to walk and not get weary, run and not faint. Okay? So keep your focus on what God is telling you to do. Do what God is telling you to do. Don't worry about the naysayers, those that, okay, why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? People always have something to say. It never fails. But keep your focus on what God is telling you to do. It may look crazy. It may look weird. You know, it may look like it's just far-fetched. But guess what? If God is telling you to stand on your head, stand on your head. If he tells you to go in the store and give somebody a thousand dollars, go give them a thousand dollars. If God tells you to pack up and sell your home and bless somebody else with that home and move somewhere else, do what God is telling you to do. Whatever God tells you to do, timing is everything. Amen. So I just want to be in, want you to be encouraged and know that the Holy Spirit is saying timing is everything. Move when he tells you to move and don't doubt it. Know that his hand is on your life and that he's going to bless you for your obedience. Let me just pray with you. Father, I pray for each one under the sound of my voice. I pray, Father God, that you would help each and every one of us to make sure that we are listening to your voice as well as moving when you tell us to move, that we are not slowful, but God, that we are obedient to what you're commanding us to do. Thank you, Father, that you will allow us, oh God, to grow in you as we be obedient. Allow us to stay focused. Allow us to stay in your word. Allow us to seek your face even the more as never before. In Jesus' name, and I thank you for doing it right now. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, I love you so much. Be encouraged. Again, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, come on, what are you waiting for? This channel is growing. It's a blessed channel, and I tell you, Nothing but blessings are coming out of this channel, okay? So be encouraged. Know that God is with you. And remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you. I love you.